Praise the Lord. This is Ellen Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. God bless you on today. We bring you greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life. And we definitely want to give honor to our leadership, our pastor, Bishop Dr. Ellis Murchison, Sr. of the Pentecostal Power Church, and to my own lovely wife, Missionary Newsom, and to our First Lady, Lady Paulette. Uh, we thank and praise God for all of the people of God today that have joined us on our Touch and Agree Prayer Hour. And so uh, we're here today to um, uh, talk about a very uh, good word of exhortation for the people of God, but we are here to pray. And that's the reason why we're on today. And so we want to go before the Lord in prayer. We want to touch and agree uh uh, briefly here and go before the Lord and a brief word of prayer. And so that's what we want uh, to take care of today. Uh, we do have uh, some things we'd like to share with the people of God. Uh, our convention is fastly, fastly, fastly approaching. So we ask that all the people of God that's desiring to come uh, would join us. And also those of you that are on social media, if you desire to uh, view uh, the convention services, you can go to um, our website, which is found on uh, the nppci.org. You can go there, nppci.org, uh, to get any uh, pertinent updates or changes that you may be looking for. Uh, and also the different ministries are also listed on the website. And so those are some of the newest things that we have and so we ask that you go there and start browsing around because this is going to take a little while uh, for people to adjust. But this is going to be another way that we can uh, uh, filter down and pass through information uh, and make changes without uh, it going through so many hands. And so I think that'll that'll uh, definitely help us as well to streamline uh, some of our events. And so. I know you may not quite uh, be used to it just yet, but just continue to hang in there with us. It's going to be all right. And so that's one of the things we want to deal with. Uh, our next thing that we want to talk about is we want to talk about the saints that uh, has requested prayer. And so we want to ask you to pray for me and my family, pray for my loved ones, pray for the sick that's among us, pray for our organization, pray for our presiding bishop, our assisting presiding bishop. Let us pray for their wives. Uh, let us please, let us please pray for uh, those uh, that have fallen by the wayside. Uh, let us pray for those that are yet behind prison walls and in the hospital and nursing homes that God will minister the word of God to them that they may have an opportunity to uh, repent and uh, be baptized in water in Jesus' name and uh, be saved. That's our prayer for them. And uh, we just want uh, the people of God to uh, continue to be a witness and be a light uh, to a dark and perverse generation. Let us pray for our president, our government. Let us pray for our officials and our leaders in our different cities. We know that our city has had uh, quite a few situations. And so, uh, Saints, only thing I can tell you is that it's praying time. And I know it's been praying time, but if it's ever been a time to pray, the time is now. And that's the thing we lack. And I want to let you know, uh, prayer break barriers. I want to say that to you, my friend, during this prayer hour, that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. We find a lot of people preaching. We find a lot of people giving the word of God. We find a lot of people running and jumping and bucking and doing a lot of things. Praise God. But you have only a faithful few that will get in the get in the uh the arena and pray and jesus said to his disciples when he went to the garden of gethsemane he said would you pray with me but one hour praise god and you can tell when 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 prayer is needed it becomes a struggle <laughs> oh glory and i know i ain't gonna talk about it all day but i want to let you know prayer breaks barriers and saints, we need uh, all of the saints that know the word of prayer. 
please join us. We solicit you to come on on Fridays at 12 noon. It's not how long you pray, but it's when you pray. And Jesus spoke a parable unto this end in Luke 18 and one through three said, men ought to always pray and not to faint. And I want to let you know, my friend, it is praying time. Glory. And so we want to get in there and pray, pray for our church, pray for our mothers, our deacons. Let us pray, saints, for the welfare of the people of God. Let us pray that souls will be saved and the souls that just been converted. We had like five or six souls that got converted in, uh, in our ministry. And we want to pray that the other ones, the rest of them that's tearing, that they will get in here and they would mean business. We give a special shout out uh, to uh, Sister Angel. We give a special shout out for her uh, and uh, Sister uh, uh, Kenya. We, 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 uh, not Kenya, but uh, Muffin, I forgot her name, but uh, Muffin, Sister Muffin, praise God. We give a special shout out, but we are praying for Sister Kenya and some of the other ones, but we are believing God. Hmm? We're believing God for the Holy Ghost, and I'm believing God for myself to get another touch, another dose of the Holy Ghost, praise God. And we need to get another deal. Glory because Jesus is soon to come. And so I, I'm not going to bore you today, but we're going to get right down to business and we're going to get into prayer. And so we want to give a shout out to my lovely wife, Missionary Newsom. Praise the Lord to her. And when she's on with us today, and we want to say praise the Lord and to all the saints. God bless you. And so if you have a prayer request, please submit it. Uh, Brother White and his family, we're praying for you, my friend. We're praying for Elder Charles Jones and Sister Rosie and uh, Bishop Wallace. We're praying uh, for the people of God. We're praying for the true church family and we're definitely praying for, uh, we're praying for Deacon Tony and, uh, Evangelist Lee and their family, the Murchison family. Uh, we're praying for all families, praise God. Uh, but especially we're saying a special prayer, uh, for Mr. Arthur Lee. We're going to pray for him and we're going to pray that God will do what he said he would do because it's any day now. And so, we're going to believe God uh, for those that are in need of prayer and that we're interceding for. Remember our bishop, Arthur Bullock, Mother Bullock, pray that God will continue to send healing and grant healing unto them and all of the executive council board of bishops. Let us pray, saints, for all of the churches uh, in the body of Christ, that God will continue to strengthen us and that we have a cohesiveness uh, to labor in his vineyard and that he may be able to use us as lights and instruments to gather his wheat into the barns because we can see time is winding up. Let us pray for Ukraine. Uh, let us pray for the people in Ukraine because we could have bombs dropping all around us and pray for those people out in California, fire everywhere. And I don't know why people ain't running to the church. It's fire everywhere. And then my Bible tell me it won't be water. It's going to be fire next time. And you can see the fire already started. Praise God. And we want you to get the Holy Ghost fire so you don't have to, uh, oh, glory be to God. So you don't have to get into that hell fire and the fire and brimstone that burn in the lake of fire and which burn forever. So we want you to escape the judgment. And so you can do it now by joining us in prayer and allowing the Lord to fill your heart with his Holy Spirit. All right. But you must repent and be baptized in his name and you must believe on him. All right. And so let us go before his throne. Remember our senior Bishop Scott. Uh, and let us continue to just pray that God will strengthen. Amen. So let us go before his throne. We're going to go to our scripture, which is found in Second Chronicles 7 and 14. And then we're going to go to our exhortation scripture, which is found in Matthew chapter 8. So stay with us. We're only going to be on for another about 20, 25 minutes. So let us pray. We're going to take uh, a little time to pray and talk to the Lord. And then we're going to... Uh, give you some exhortative scripture. Amen. Let us go before strong eternal God, our savior in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you once again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's already done in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know what we have need of before we ask, but heavenly father, we just came today to come before your presence to tell you, thank you. Thank you for waking us up, clothing us in our right mind. Thank you, Lord God, for the use and the activity of our limbs. 
We thank you, Lord, for our family, our loved ones. We thank you, Lord, how you have sheltered us and provided for us. We thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, God. But most of all, we give you thanks for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for the spirit of truth that leads and guides us. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise, oh God, in this prayer hour. And Father, as we pray, we ask, Lord, you would honor the petition and the request. As we come before you, Lord, we come humbly as we know how in submission and repentance. Oh God, that you would forgive any sin that may be in our lives as we forgive others that have trespassed and transgressed against us. And against you, Lord, we forgive right now. And Lord, we know that you are the only one that can forgive sin. But God, help us to have a heart of repentance. Oh, God, toward our brother and sister, God, help us right now. Oh, God, to walk in all humility and repentance. Help us right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we grab hold to the horns of the altar, we need your grace and your mercy to continue on, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, continue to blot out, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our senior bishop. We pray, oh God, for our presider, assistant presider, and their wives. We pray, God, for our pastor, Bishop Murchison, that you would touch him and Lady Murchison. You would strengthen their bodies, that you would grant healing. Oh God, that you would grant strength in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we plead the blood. The devil is a lie. Oh God, we're going to live to see it happen. We decree and declare right now in the blessed name of Jesus, Lord, that you would send increase upon all those, God, that we're interceding and praying for. Look on Mr. Arthur Lee, God. Look on Deacon Tony. Look on the Lee family, Lord God. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, you would move by your power, glory, and your anointing. Move up on the youth, God, those that's been, oh, God, fresh, freshly filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch them right now. Oh, Lord, lay your hands up on them, Jesus. Oh, God, lay your hands on us, God. We don't mind. Help us today, Lord. Let them know you're there and that you care. Oh, God, look on, oh, God, all of our mothers and deacons, Lord, missionaries, evangelists, ministers, touch, Lord, and the saints of God. Look on those that are veering. Oh, God, touch in the name of Jesus. Look on those, oh, God, that's on YouTube and Facebook. Oh, God, seeking, oh, God, a refuge for their soul. We pray now, God, that they would, oh, God, join in in this prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would open their eyes, God, and grant them, oh, God, peace. And, oh, God, reveal yourself unto them, God, that they may know the true and living God and that there's one God. There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Oh, God, in the name is Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare it now. And, Father, we ask you would direct us, God, as we exhort and encourage your people. Direct us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. To know, oh God, hallelujah, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Let your power work in us and work on us, Lord, and work through us, that your name might be glorified. Father, we thank you and we forever give you glory and praise. We thank you for great deliverance right now, for we know we serve a strong God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you right now. Mm. We thank you, God, for your mercy and do it forever. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we magnify and lift you up, God, because you deserve the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we say yes to your will, Heavenly Father, yes to your way. Oh, God, touch right now, Mother Bullock. Oh, God, look on Bishop Bullock. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus, look on Bishop Stone and Mother Stone. Touch, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, look on the brotherhood, God. Look on the men in the church. Oh, God, unify, bring unity among the brethren. Strengthen, Lord, that which remain. And, oh, God, add to the church daily such as should be saved. And, Father, we decree and declare it. In the name of Jesus, bless all of our precious, oh, God. Oh, God, mothers and saints, God. Oh, God, they're seeking to go higher. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Father, we glorify and we give you praise. Thank you right now. Look on my wife, Missionary Newson, God. Touch in a special way, God. Continue to strengthen as well as encourage. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Look on the Newson family, Lord God. Look on, oh God, Tweety. Look on, oh God. Oh, God, Lady Turner. Look on, oh God, the entire family. Lord, we pray now that you will continue, Lord. Oh, God, to send healing. 
in the name of Jesus. Send breakthrough, God. Oh, God, send an uplifting. And Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Look on Bridget, God. Look on my nieces and nephews, God. Touch them right now. Look on the saints, children, Lord. Let your blood cover them now. And Father, we thank you. We forever give you praise. Look on those, oh God. Oh God, that are viewing right now. Touch them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Do it, God. Mm. Oh Lord, you are our help. The Lord is our helper. And Father, we thank you right now. Mm. As we lift our eyes to the hills from whence cometh our help. All of our help coming from you, O oh Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. Father, we thank you. We forever give you glory and praise. Bless all of our, oh God, hallelujah. Bless all of our, oh God, oh God, protégés. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Those that, oh God, that are developing in ministry. Those that are coming up, God, the becoming saints. Help them right now to embrace holiness. Oh God, help them to follow peace with all men and holiness without to which no man shall see the Lord. Father, we thank you. We forever give you glory and praise. Lord, we thank you right now, for you know the thought that you think toward us, thoughts of peace and not of evil, and to give unto us an expected end. Father, we thank you. We forever give you glory and praise. Oh, Lord, let the words of my mouth and, the, oh, God, in the meditation of our heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. These are another blessing we ask and pray in Jesus' name to the glory of God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we thank God for the prayer. We uh, want to exhort the people of God while you're here uh, on the broadcast with us today. So we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, put our scripture reader on the screen for you. That you would uh, join in with us and we'll put our scripture reader on the screen. And so we want you to join in with us today. And let's take a look here. All right. We're going to talk about breaking barriers. And so we thank God for the prayer of the Lord, uh, for the people of God, and that the Lord will uh, see us through. And I believe that uh, no matter what the people of God go through, uh, the Lord is with us. And uh, Job said it best, you know, uh, though he slay me, yet will I trust the Lord. And so we have to. Uh, trust him when we can't trace the hand of God. And so we have to just walk by faith and not by sight. But as we encourage you today on this uh, touch and agree prayer hour, we want to go to Matthew chapter eight. And uh, we're going to try to get that uh, also on the screen for you. I'd like to go to Matthew chapter eight and uh, first number uh, first number five through 13. Okay. And let's go to Matthew, uh, Matthew eight and five through 13. Yep. Eight and five through 13. Stay with us. I'm going to get it for you. And it's going to, I'm going to read it first for you. I'm going to read it. And he says, and Jesus, I'm sorry. Let me just take, take a moment here. And when Jesus entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. I'm going to put that on the screen for you. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. Mm, glory be to God. That's what this prayer hour is about. Seeking the Lord, seeking his face. And the centurion had a need. And so do we people of God, no matter how strong we are and no matter uh, where we stand in our faith, we need more Jesus. I know. I know you, you got it all together, but we need more Jesus. And Matthew 8 and 5 reads, and saying, Lord, the centurion was seeking Jesus to find Jesus. And he say, Lord, my servant lied at home, sick of palsy, grievously tormented. Hmm? He had a servant that was sick. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. 
All glory be to God. And I want to let you know today, if you seek the Lord, he will come and he will heal you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You don't have to stay in the shape you in. Mm, glory be to God. Oh, God wants to heal us where we hurt. Look at this. I want to encourage you today. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy. I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof. Oh, glory be to God. Look at the humility. Hmm? Look at the humility that this leader had. And we as leaders oh, in the church and of the church, we should be some of the most gracious, humilitized, humble men and women of God. Oh, glory be to God. They had a song. Oh, <laughs> I hate to bring it up, but I ain't going to bring it up. But you know what? We should be the most humble set of people. Hmm? He was a leader, but he came humble before Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. And I want to let you know, if we're going to receive something of the Lord, we must humble ourselves. We read it in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. We must humble ourselves when we pray. Oh, glory be to God. Hmm? But look at this. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should come under my roof. But speak the word only. Glory. Thank you, Lord. And my servant shall be healed. Look at the faith this man had. Glory. Look at the look where his faith was. Hmm? He had faith in God. And this faith in God on that TV broadcast is all about perpetuating. Your faith in God. It's not about us. It's not about you. It's not, you know, it's about the kingdom work that your faith will be built up enough that you would trust the word of God and you will stand on his promise. Praise God. And that you will receive the fullness of God. Praise God. And what he has for you. Look at this. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy. Look at the humility. That thou should come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Don't you want to be healed? Aren't you tired of popping pills? Ain't you tired of being sick? Aren't you, aren't you tired of having the same issue over and over again? God wants to heal us where we hurt saints. I want to encourage you today. God got a blessing with your name on it. Look at this. Verse number nine, Matthew 8 and 9. We're almost, almost done. We'll be done by 1230, hopefully, Lord's will. He says, for I'm a man under authority. Hmm? Even though he was a leader, hmm? even though we have presidents, governors, and mayors, and there are people in authority and of authority, and leaders in the church, there are people in authority and of authority. He said he have soldiers under him. He have people under him. And I and he says, and I say, this man go and he go it. I tell this another to come and he coming. Look at the humility. And to my servant, do this and he do it. I want you to see something here. Regardless of what position he was in, he recognized ultimately the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Look at this now. He says here in uh, verse number 10, he says, when Jesus heard it, he marveled. When Jesus heard it, he marveled. And said to them that follow, verily, verily, unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. I'm going to read that over again. This writing is so small, I got to enlarge it here. But he says here, when Jesus heard it, he marveled. And said to them that follow, verily, verily, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Look at this now. 
verse number 13 and number 11. We're going down to 13. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness and there should be weeping and gashing of teeth. Verse number 13. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. When we pray today, as you believed and touch and agree with me, so be it done as you requested. Praise God. I want to let you know there's power in prayer. Don't let nobody. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Don't let nobody hinder you from praying. When you can't do nothing else, we need to be praying. Hmm? And instead of talking about it, we need to be about it. Praise God. Look at this. Go thy way and thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. I want you to see that is already done. And you need to trust and believe the Lord. Praise God. You need to trust and believe God that is already done. In the name of Jesus, it's already done. Praise God. Only if you can trust and believe his word, it's already done. And I just want to let you know, I'm just crazy enough to believe that God will do just what he said he would do. And he will do it any day now. And so I want you to know today on the Faith in God Internet TV broadcast that we love you. We thank God for you. We hope that you have a blessed Friday, a wonderful uh, power pack weekend with the presence of the Lord in your service on Sunday, uh, if the Lord's will. And so we're, our prayer for you and our hope in God for you is that you would have increase from the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. And so whatever you need, you can find it in the word of God. And it's through prayer. Prayer is the key, but it's faith that unlocks the door to give you access to the things that you ask God for. And so saints, Remember us in your prayers as we will keep you up before the Lord in prayer. God bless you. We love you. I am Elder Newson, your host on the Faith in God Internet TV Touch and Agree Prayer Hour. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. want to thank God uh, for you tuning in today. And we hope that you will join us on next week. Uh, we hope that you would join us on next week uh, to tune in with us. Uh, if the Lord's will, we hope that you would tune in and join us on the Faith in God Internet TV broadcast. We have a new series coming up uh, as we talk about um, breaking the barriers. We're going to go into our new series. Uh, we did finish the Gospel of John. So we hope that you would uh, uh, join us in the next uh, session, uh, our next broadcast, which will be on Monday at 12 noon, if the Lord's will, uh, we'll be starting that new series out, um, if the Lord's will. And so please join us. Uh, we want to thank you uh, for being a part of us. want to give a shout out to all of the people of God. Uh, please uh, pray until something happens. Pray until you get your breakthrough. Pray until you feel the presence of God. Don't just pray a little bit, but pray until you feel his presence. And then when you feel his presence, continue to crowd even the more, especially those of you that are tearing for the Holy Ghost. You know you need the Holy Ghost. You want the Holy Ghost. You can pray at home. You can pray at church. You can pray every time you get an opportunity, especially before you go to bed at night. Call on Jesus and he will answer prayer. I'm a witness. Hmm? And the Bible says, uh, according to Acts 2 and 38 through 39, for the promises unto you 
and to your children, all that are far, even as many, Lord, our God shall call. So God bless you. May God keep you. Thanks again for joining us. Until next time, God bless you in Jesus' name.